The word of God will be coming your way shortly. We believe this world will be able to turn your life around for the better. Please be kind enough to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If these four dimensions are not captured in your idea of love, then never talk about it. These four dimensions I'm about to describe for you, if they are not captured, all four must be captured for it to be called love. Three over four in this equation is still F. It must be four over four to be called God's idea. The dimensions of love. Ready? Number one, passion. The first dimension of love is passion. There is no love if it cannot be expressed in passion. That's why I told you that there is a place for feelings. It's only that feelings is not the entire scope. Please follow me. In this teaching, God is going to be revealing to many of us the mistakes we have been making. Whether in love relationships, even in marriages and our work with God and businesses and relationship among believers around passion what is passion a strong or extravagant fondness of something when you are strongly fond of something it can be said you are passionate about that person or that thing what is passion sorry i'll hurry up you can get the teachings enthusiasm or desire for someone or something your passion for a person or a thing is measured by your enthusiasm your desire for something you cannot say you love a person or you love a thing and intrinsically there is no desire passion is called an intense enthusiasm compelling desire even admiration qualifies to be called passion write this down the proof that you are passionate about a person or a thing is pursuit 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 is the proof of passion when you love someone and you love something you are willing to be vulnerable enough to pursue that personality to pursue that idea there cannot be passion when there is an ashamedness for pursuit towards God towards men there are many relationships and many marriages many business ideas that do not have passion attached so the individuals they may say that they love this um, line of business, but I do not see pursuit. They may say, I love this lady, I love this guy, but there is no desire for pursuit. Many say, I love Jesus, I love the things of God, but there is no pursuit. The first dimension of love that must be at work in your life is pursuit. Psalm 8, please, quickly let's look at god himself demonstrating this dimension of love psalm 8 and verse 3. this is the psalmist in shock and awe as to why the god of the heavens with all the dexterity of heaven will still look down at man remember the bible said for god so loved the world i have loved you we are not studying love from any relationship expert. We are studying love directly from the one who invented it himself. Because many people have carved out, I have great honor and respect for people, authorities that God has used in the area of love and relationship, but there is a deception that is destroying the body of Christ. Every angry person comes up with a book and any idea of what they believe and begin to mentor young guys and young ladies and we are destroying marriage visions dreams relationships because of wrong templates that have been communicated so let's go to God 
how did God express passion this is what the psalmist saw that made him wonder he said God is it that you cannot do without man you threw your pride on the ground your throne is not enough for you you look at a man that is so godless and doesn't love you he said when I consider the heavens do you know what he's saying Lord you are not dull you made the heavens without pillars the works of your fingers can't you invent another thing to replace that man the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained verse 4 we're reading to verse 5 what is man that thou art change mindful to passionate ready what is man that thou art passionate not the son of man that you prove you are passionate by doing what visiting him you leave your throne you are not even considering whether people will say how about god you are too big for this childishness he said no problem say whatever you say about me i am in love with that man and the first dimension is my passion i am not ashamed let's go back to our world of proud and arrogant people where a guy claims he loves a lady but he is still protecting his vulnerability you are not passionate you are not in love where somebody claims he loves a business he loves his idea i love this i love that i am a businessman and you are not serious i don't see you wake up in the night to read any book i don't see you go for any seminar you are not passionate you do not love it the first dimension of love is measured by your passion and your passion measured by your willingness to pursue without being embarrassed anything that shame will not let you pursue don't even start shame and love doesn't go hand in hand no matter who you are in the world of god's idea of love you must be willing to throw shame down to pursue a person an idea or pursue god when we were sitting here and the worship team were praising i saw a jimmy got up and he was dancing unashamedly is a proof of passion is that true listen be careful whenever someone says he loves you or she loves you or you think you love someone before you make a shipwreck of your life because of ignorance ask yourself question number one am i willing to be vulnerable enough to pursue i have loved you with an everlasting love and my everlasting love was demonstrated by my being mindful lord there are many things to distract you in heaven the beauty of heaven the throne room the four and twenty elders and after he watches that orchestra in heaven all of a sudden they find god thinking and the elders can wonder god what again and he says man scene two here is the stubborn and careless man roaming around trying to make a, a an image and bow to him and the angel say george now george god you are wise and he says no i'm not ashamed that as great as i am god is a weak point man has gotten this is god listen don't ever marry anybody who doesn't have this thing i'm telling you big manism and passion cannot go hand in hand show me what wakes you in the night and i know whether that idea is worth your love what wakes you up you snore by 10 and wake up by 11 say i'm an entrepreneur it's not for you it's very clear that you don't have passion for that thing you can try other aspects of life lord i love you and you are praying and then fall asleep and sleep for 10 hours no when you are mindful of anything there is passion there is god helping us tonight learn this this is the spirit of wisdom speaking to you we use words carelessly and do not understand the gravity of what we are saying lord i love you he says which dimension is that dimension number one i love you i am passionate towards you i am not ashamed of my vulnerability oh david showed us what passion was he danced before god and the wife said ah uh ah -uh, oh king again 
were you not trained well david said god that took me from the backside i should not dance before him god had it and god said you dare not stop anyone who is passionate about me number two what is the second dimension of love commitment write it down the second dimension of love there is no love i've not defined love oh. we are just describing the dimensions love is commitment everybody shout commitment. commitment do you know what commitment is commitment is the willingness to give your time the willingness to give your energy the willingness to give yourself to something or someone you believe in is called commitment the willingness to give your time the willingness to give yourself passion talks of pursuit the unashamedness to remain mindful of a thing but commitment talks of the staying power brothers and sisters there is no emotion to commitment commitment is a product of your belief in a thing staying power based on the fact that you believe so you can see a believer being persecuted and they are going to set fire on him and he's willing lord i remain with you denounce jesus christ or die is is there any pleasure there no sir listen to me commitment is a state or quality of being dedicated another synonym for commitment is dedication i know how committed you are to a person or a thing by dedication i wrote a definition that when i finished writing i finished writing it i just leaned my head and i took a deep breath and i said god this is serious hear this the third definition of commitment is an engagement or obligation that restricts freedom of action hi you must write everything let me say it again an engagement or obligation to someone or something that restricts freedom of action look at this kind of dangerous definition so there is a restriction that commitment can create to your life hmm. the love of god constrains constrains there are actions that are restricted because of commitment you have options you can sleep you have options you can travel you have options you can go for vacation but your commitment for your vision because you believe that if you're committed to that vision your children will eat from it so you stay and they look at you and say ah david damn what is this that you are playing the keyboard 2 a.m 2 a.m you are tired you say it's true it's obvious your eyes are teary but something else has obsessed you more than the discomfort you are having commitment there are many believers who are not committed to anything there are many young people who are not committed to anything and anyone we run away from commitment i'm a member of koinonia but i don't want to join any workforce that's how i am do you know why because the restriction that commitment brings is what we are afraid of restriction is god blessing us number three let's hurry up the third dimension to love when we get to the fourth dimension you give us that scripture again in ephesians the third dimension to love is pleasure write it down if you must manifest true love it must be captured this dimension pleasure what is pleasure delight gratification there must be delight there must be space for gratification what is pleasure 
the satisfaction derived from what is to one's liking it cannot be a war of pain and regrets and fighting and pursuit indefinitely no there is a dimension to love that is defined by pleasure psalm 16 verse 11 let me tell you something that is very interesting about love personified here's what the bible says 16 verse 11 psalms are we there it says thou will show me the path of life ready in your presence is what fullness of joy and then he did say in the hand of a 24 elder at your right hand are what for how long if your definition of love is all about pain and fight and it there is no capture of the dimension of pleasure then you are not defining love based on God's terms is God speaking to us yes whether it is a love relationship whether it is a business relationship i should come and see you working on a difficult project with a smile on your face and i should say ah, ah, but i'm aware this thing is hard you mean you have to count these things one by one and there are five thousand of them and you say even me i don't know why this thing gives me joy my brother continue that's a sign that there is love there there are many things we do and we are angry and frowning at it relationships career even walk with god brothers and sisters do we not rejoice after we love god we celebrate miracles here in his presence he makes sure that the dimension of delight is featured in our serving him is delight and pleasure featured in your idea of relationship there are husbands and wives there are people in relationships where there is completely no joy and laughter and delight at all there may be passion there may be commitment but there's no delight no jokes no laughter especially for we who are very visionary people it's a side effect that comes with being visionary sometimes we can strangle every iota of pleasure from our lives i have found myself many times being unfair even to myself in this regard because of the enormous responsibilities that i have over my life and over people i'm always thinking but the bible says even god laughs from his throne are we together the bible says laughter do it good like medicine pleasure must be captured there are times that i've been involved in ideas involved in things and i've enjoyed the beauty and the joy of triumph your business should make you laugh one day your pursuit of the anointing should make you laugh one day if you continue being angry indefinitely it can be a voice that this thing is not for you there must be a time of laughter your relationship must give you laughter one day no sir from january last year till january this year you have been meeting with the lady or the guy no laughter no feeling of relaxation and happiness what what's what sort of a, a... <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm trying to be very careful so i don't dabble directly into relationship issues are you deriving satisfaction from your pursuit now let me tell you something if there is no pleasure in what you are loving you will feel cheated if there is no pleasure if i sit down and i'm doing ministry as god has anointed me to i there are pleasurable moments in ministry people sow into my life people bless me i have the privilege of enjoying honor you all love me and respect me so much and i'm deeply grateful for that those are the fringe benefits is the pleasure dimension of love i love god with all my heart i've seen his favor upon my life i've seen him shower me with blessings that if he never blesses me again i am deeply grateful there must be pleasure captured in your idea of love this is a challenge to visionary people 
this is a challenge to spiritual ladies hello spirituality is not an insult but we have found ourselves victims there are sisters that are spiritual they love god they don't know the inconvenience they are creating they strangle this third dimension of love intentionally as proof they feel so ashamed when there is an atmosphere of relaxation there are believers that frown at dinners there are believers that frown at any opportunity to relax and do this no no don't do this there are more important things they say is wrong there are fathers that will not allow this incorporated in their family there are mothers that will not allow this incorporated oh we just feel like getting two chickens just to cut no occasion see that's why it's part of my reservation about things like valentine because they are not exactly sincere most of the things that are done around this period are just emotions they are not revelations so someone that had no there's no iota of being nice suddenly changes for two days or four days that experience should not be desired because it will not continue am, am i against valentine no no do your thing but i'm just telling you that this is the revelation there is a pleasure dimension to life that's the reason why i came to serve god i came to preach in koinonia i didn't come to drink water however they know that there is a dimension of love that must be captured and they kept me a bottle of water how grateful i am for this hallelujah there are believers who don't know what the bible calls the joy of salvation say it after me the joy of salvation brothers and sisters there is joy in salvation if that experience has not been featured in your life vet what you did that you called born again or vet the atmosphere you are submitting your spiritual understanding to i detest a life that is just full of passion and commitment and then pleasure is not captured how about schools that flood children alone there's no opportunity they are either reading or serving punishment that's how many of us were raised that's how many of us were raised our families did not have provision you are sleeping you are praying you are reading or you are walking break time they give you 10 minutes now it looks like it's a nice thing but it's destructive go and ask the most productive people and corporations they create scenarios and force the people to have times when their minds can relax is god helping us capture this capture this they met jesus with little children as visionary as he is and then the serious disciples say abba jesus you are soon to die remember all of this this and jesus mm -hmm please carry your let the little children come to me and do not forbid them for such most adults will say these are children please jesus let's focus on what matters jesus said i don't know what you are talking about there was a time they saw him with prostitutes and people he was not preaching he was eating with them cracking jokes and laughing if this is not featured in our lives somewhere we are missing it men of god listen to me spiritual brothers and sisters listen to me your service and your spirituality should not strangle the trouble becomes when your entire life is defined by pleasure your whole life revolves around the impulses of pleasure you are back to the feelings we are talking about yeah na 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 yeah 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 Hallelujah. I was told the other day that the worship team went for an aerobic session. I was so blessed. You would think all they do is to pray. There was a time I think the prayer department were having, was it a seminar or something like that? And that's why after service, you should not stop people 
from those brief moments where they are ah, how are you that's why we crack jokes in the middle of the service even if it's a miracle service doesn't matter whose problem you have your medical reports but talk to your neighbor tell them i love you say god bless you that's why after service i say hug someone and say something some of you as soon as the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god you frown your face you go and stand outside listen i respect your commitment to vision but you are robbing yourself and god and your environment of this dimension of love friendliness this dimension let's hurry up number four if god is helping you say amen, amen. the fourth dimension of love is sacrifice sacrifice the length the breadth the height the depth of the love of god it is these compositions that make the fullness of god's love what is sacrifice giving up something you consider valuable for the sake of someone or a better cause giving up something you consider valuable for the sake of someone or a better cause giving up something you consider valuable for the sake of someone or a better cause you must give up something if you want to fulfill the last dimension of love sacrifice talks of constraint sacrifice talks of inconvenience very uncomfortably sometimes sacrifice talks of pain hmm. a language our generation does not know again pain constraint the inconveniences that if need be you may have to go through because of someone or a cause that you consider to be nobler please look up i have mentioned four parameters ready what's number one passion what's number two commitment what's number three pleasure what's number four sacrifice sacrifice is sacrifice featured in your idea of love love for your vision love for your assignment brothers and sisters we are all happy right now enjoying what god is doing here but how many of you know that since as early as maybe sometimes seven in the morning work is already going on in cgc here prayer department members came by uh, four four o'clock praying for at least one hour for this meeting the worship team here several people you came and found seats arranged already you came and found the seats clean sometimes during the rainy season you see the pain as soon as you share the grace you are going to hug one another and go back every week i leave this place past 12 the next day past 12 because i have to spend an extra one or two hours standing the moment i come for koinonia i sit down only for a few minutes once i get up standing it is until i leave while you are sitting i'm standing sometimes during the workers retreat i am standing from at, at about nine sometimes till evening or night and afterwards i may still have to counsel people and go back show me your sacrifice as a proof of love show me the sacrifice you are doing for that sister as a proof that you love her show me the sacrifice you are doing for that brother show me the sacrifice you are doing for your wife your husband your children if there is no sacrifice there is no love love is measured by sacrifice not sacrifice alone but it is an index i look at parents and i see how they care for their children i look at other parents i see how irresponsible they are over their children oh we need school fees or we need something uh, sorry i need to do something and they say i love you no sir lord i love you and then you want to give offering you came with two thousand you remove hundred naira and return it back you remove 50 naira and return it back then you remove the old 20 naira and god is watching saying is that what you call love sacrifice these people are standing every single one of them i'm here preaching you are here enjoying and male and female they are standing if we stand during koinonia vigils they are standing 
when they get tired they go back to rest a bit some of the people come sacrifice believers don't understand the language of sacrifice every little inconvenience there's no ac there's no this there's no this sacrifice the sacrifice of waking up in the night whether it's convenient or not to pray the sacrifice to pursue and study the sacrifice to delay gratification with your finances god gave you one small one or two million instead of blowing it to live a fake life you say let me pay the price and sacrifice this so that my children will eat what i did not eat sacrifice how many selfish parents i'm sorry to say it with all due respect they saw the future of the children they saw their present they would have paid a price some of us would have been happy now but they chose their belly at the expense of a generation they had the opportunity to have bought the land in 1964 1974 just buying the land without developing it instead of going for one polo club competition they would have used that money to buy the land that single land would have been over 100 million today and they would have been able to train everybody empower their young men support their sisters but selfishness and they look at you and say children i love you no wonder the resentment rises in many young people for their parents there is no sacrifice you hardly will hate someone or a thing that sacrifices how many leaders claim they love their people how many pastors claim they love their members there is no index to measure sacrifice everything that is an inconvenience goes to the members the convenience comes to the pastor no sir a true shepherd lays down does not walk on his sheep lays down what are you laying down for your wife what are you laying down for your husband what are you laying down for that come darling for that lady you want to get married to what are you laying down for the guy you want to get married to? his birthday is coming oh let me put something small you call him hello sir your your birthday is coming can you give me the money to cook for you is that sacrifice is that sacrifice that sacrifice how many of our parents claim that they love a student or they love whatever they come into a city where you are there carry out a business transaction cannot even drop a small envelope is when they leave they say i came there there is no sacrifice sacrifice is not about convenience so do not expect it to be convenient there are times both for God and men, it will inconvenience you. Ask any married man. There are times you are in a straight betwixt between your child's school fees and another equally important thing. But you may have to lay it down. Bless God for some of our mothers that will not buy one wrapper for five years so that their children will eat. Now that's love to me. Bless God for some of our fathers who would rather park the car and not take... 400,000 to buy a new gearbox. He says that 400,000 can sponsor my children. Let me send them to school. Not so that they will feed me back when they are graduates. That's investment. That's not love. Are we together? Our generation does not understand the language of sacrifice. Sister, let me tell you, you are not a good wife if you don't understand sacrifice unfortunately you know i love our sisters but there is a deception that is looming across the horizon where many ladies believe everything about relationship is all about their pleasure and enjoyment anything that has to do with a little sacrifice they frown and revolt and rebel no how about brothers who think because you are a celebrity figure because you are this you are a graduate you are working in an oil and gas company and all these things are happening you want the lady to worship you forever because you are this somebody is lying to somebody somewhere sacrifice sacrifice how many businessmen 
cannot make sacrifice for their future how many young men i look at some not, not necessarily here i look around and i see young people that i know don't have anything much i see what they are wearing i watch their shoes even a millionaire is not wearing that kind of shoe and i ask them what do you have in saving them nothing and that person wants to marry and that person is looking at a lady he loves or a guy that he loves how many ladies carry their future and use it to make themselves beautiful today no sacrifice people are poor not just because the devil is powerful this sacrifice is what we lack in our generation hallelujah you are considering a relationship or you are considering marriage or you are married please don't go into it it's not a sin be ready for sacrifice first there are men who will come back with salary and ask their wives my wife can can you give this person twenty thousand? whereas you have your own one million let's tell ourselves the truth and it starts from relationship sacrifice these four dimensions are the dimensions that spell love give us ephesians chapter 3 again ephesians chapter 3 let's hurry up verse 18 that you will be able to comprehend with all the saints and that includes the family of koinonia what is the passion and the commitment and the pleasure and the sacrifice dimensions that are involved the bible calls these dimensions the fullness of the love of god i want you to look at this carefully which dimension so when you say brother i love you or sister i love you or destiny i love you or jesus i love you my question again is which one of them all of them jesus i have pleasure towards you and the things you can give me he says wonderful how about sacrifice for me how about commitment for me no i don't have those ones let me show you a secret brothers and sisters that will give you an opportunity to enjoy your marriage your relationship your vision whether you are born again or not if you subscribe to these four templates on anything you will succeed in it it's true some of the best i've studied some of the top business entrepreneurs around the world this they subscribe to this template they may not acknowledge jesus don't just look at their results look at their passion look at their commitment look at the pleasure they derive from what they are doing no matter how cumbersome and then look at the sacrifices i i studied one one particular businessman and when i saw what that guy went through i said compared to what he went through i still think that the world still should reward him his name is nikola tesla tesla is one of the genesis had about 700 patents to his honor he lived a secluded life of sacrifice created the inventions today that we accredit to different people it was the product of the pain of that man didn't get married in his life didn't do a lot of things began to research many of he was light years ahead of humanity and he died leaving his blessing sacrifice i watch miles Monroe's videos great mentor in life and in death i see how that that man cheated death he's long gone but his wisdom still guides us there is illumination the touch from his experiences guide us towards a great destiny what are you willing to lay down for the anointing you claim you want what are you willing to lay down for the kind of lady you are praying for what are you willing to lay down sister for the kind of husband you are praying for it is free but it's not cheap you must be willing to lay down something lord i want a visionary guy i want somebody who loves god god says they are all available let me see what you are willing to lay down can you lay down the time the ego the inconvenience 
will you be able to submit to such a man with gladness as one who is worthy of your honor for his paradigm oh lord i have my own ego i don't want to be cheap and god says all right go and find men who are like you but if it's my son you want you must be serious oh lord i want this lady beautiful gorgeous whatever parameters you use and god says they are available but gentlemen let me see what you are willing to lay down a lady who is that virtuous deserves a responsible man a lady who is that virtuous god will tell you deserves a blessed man if you consider that lady to be priceless enough then you must rise to the occasion we have this pride in our world that all fingers are equal it's a lie that includes human beings sister there are some kinds of brothers god will never give you the way you are it's not a bad talk it is true god is not a fool he gave unto his one five talents two this is god oh, who is not unjust god is not unjust but he gives one five talents i talk to brothers and sometimes when i hear brothers i ask them question what kind of sister do you want when they describe that lady i look at the brother and i know he's joking i already know his prayer will not be answered because god is not a fool if you want the level of qualitative sister you are making for you because god will not yoke people on equally no sir lord i want a ministry like benny Hinn. and god says really are you willing to do what Benny Hinn is doing? That for two weeks he can close himself and nobody will see him. At the beginning of a new year, the first seven days, nobody sees him. Drive fast, he's alone with God, accessing power. Don't let the suit deceive you. If you want to marry Benny Hinn, you must be able to be like him. Otherwise, you'll be unequally yoked. You will carry pleasure into the relationship. And Benny Hinn will say, you love that Benny Hinn came from this secret place. It's amazing how people revolt when they see the demands for their desires. I want prosperity. Oh God, I want to be blessed. I'm a millionaire in Jesus' name. And God says, no problem. Millionaires from me must be able to say yes, sir, to every instruction I give. Agreed? Yes give the only one million in your account i said god i don't understand he said you had me you want me to bless you you want me to talk to someone else who is like you to send 10 million to your account prove to me you are worthy to be my treasurer by answering me every time i speak to you you would think is the kind of abraham's test that god will say stop till your internet transfer does send is gone and then your balance is one naira or five naira and you would think god will talk to the person to send it back it's gone and brothers and sisters two months after that giving you feel like dying and you say lord but i'm not lazy it took me three years to save this one million and the heavens become silent you think god is not watching he's looking one day this god one day you are sitting somewhere that is not your business and someone will come and say there is a contract somewhere um do you have a company yes i have but we are not what do you do i sell clothes leave clothes Jare, come and he gives you something and all of a sudden millions enter your account and people say it's not fair say go and ask him what is not fair about it don't be angry when you see god lifting people find out what they are doing the blood that drips from their altar is what attracts the attention of heaven when you see a man of god sometimes you people just hear me talk oh the power of god is this and people are shouting it's not magical my brother find out what my secret place is don't don't claim i say it he is grace but we are not stupid there is a sacrifice on that altar you see just think you get up and touch somebody because the bible says bless no there is a sacrifice we honor jesus among other reasons because he hung on that cross brothers and sisters i hope you know there was no covering around him it's just films that put it because children will be watching too that 33 year old man was hung naked on the cross his only covering was blood he would have stopped it but he said this is the price for that throne so don't you dare insult that throne that's why every demon must answer when you invoke the power in that throne you don't know what he went through
the highest and noblest expression of true love is sacrifice it's not the only one but it is sacrifice pray one minute over these four things we are still going to continue pray while you are seated Please pray. How nang Allah she ne abani saborai, she ne abani salama, she ne awan ke zuchata. How nang Allah. Shine abani sabonwa Shine abani salama Shine awan Jesu chaza Pray Lord give me the grace that passion be captured in my definition of love Let me be passionate about something let me be passionate about my wife let me be passionate about my husband let's be sincere and tell us ourselves the truth are you passionate about the business are you passionate about god are you committed to the sister are you committed to the brother or you just want to marry you want to exit bachelorhood you want to exit spinsterhood and you are so selfish that you are not looking to see that you are actually capturing these dimensions how about pleasure pleasure your life must produce pleasure to your spouse your life must produce pleasure to your parents to your leaders to your office to your company you can't just be taking your life must produce pleasure to God Yes, all men are not perfect, but your life must produce pleasure to God. Finally, sacrifice, pray. This issue of having it at my terms, ladies, pray. This issue of having it at my will, no, sir. It can't always be the way you want. Life is not like that. Go and ask any married man, ask anybody in a visionary relationship, ask every millionaire, ask any great man of God. There are constraints, there are times it will not go your way. Don't take it personal. There are times it will not go your way. Sacrifice. <laughs> sacrifice hallelujah we believe you have been greatly blessed by this message please show kindness by liking commenting and sharing this message to your social media handles so that others can also benefit god bless you see you again soon